Playing hide and seek, kick the can. Name your peers. Chapter 27. What is your best advice when it comes to raising children? If you judge my child raising based on how my daughter turned out, I should get the very highest marks. I am so proud of her and I am thankful every day that she is who she is. The thing is that I have to give so much credit to my mother. She completely took over for a few years when I needed her most. I owe so much to her and my dad for what they did for us. It's hard to find the words to express my gratitude, and I hope they knew how I praised them. Many thanks also go to Pat for all the help during the late 70s. This was a time when I worked many weeks out of town and she held down the fort. She helped Michelle get through junior high, which had to have been a special time for her. I remember Pat making sure that Michelle got her braces and all those trips to the dentist. And there were many fun vacations that helped us get away for a while. In the early 80s, it was just Michelle and me. We made it through her high school years on our own. I guess my home cooking wasn't so bad. I did realize that I had to be at home and my job had to change at Bone. The company helped by setting me up as manager of a couple of departments at the Danville office. This made it possible for me to be at home. I did not want to miss any of her activities or performances. These years were very special for both of us, but then it was off to the U of I. The things that seemed to help me as I was growing up on Dale Avenue will probably still work today. My dad's work at Eisner's and playing in the band were our entire income. It was a good thing that I was an only child. It would have been a struggle, I think, to provide for more than one child. I was able to get new clothes for school each year without hand-me-downs like so many of my classmates had to do. We always had a summer vacation and plenty of food on the table. So, a very important element of raising children is being able to provide for their well-being. In my generation, most families had a stay-at-home mother. I can think of only one or two families where both father and mother had jobs that took them away from their parental duties. I think it worked well back then, and it will work well today. There are many things that a limited family income cannot provide for. This is where my view of raising children has been expanded. Watching my daughter Michelle's family grow has shown me how raising children can be so very different from what I knew. Everything starts with two people that have great character and sense of values. Add in an income that is above average. This is so important. This allows you to live in a great neighborhood with wonderful schools and access to many options. Options are things like team sports, gyms, and other organized activities. I have seen the importance of exposing the children to many different activities, sports, and local events. You never know when you might find a hidden talent. Then, provide paid instruction for those things that each child shows an interest and ability. Don't push them into things, but give them added support when they find activities that they want to pursue. Some of the most important things have no connection to money. The way that you treat your children at home can make all the difference when they get out on their own. They need to have basic manners and respect for others, especially for other adults. Let them be themselves, but they have to be courteous and show kindness for others. Being a loving parent and going that extra mile to see that your child is safe and happy is the key. How religion fits into all this is hard for me to explain. All I can tell you is that having faith in our Creator and having love in your heart is maybe more important than we think. I am a Christian and have faith in God, but I have not been a churchgoer. Sometimes people need this support on a daily and weekly basis. I have found that for me, I have faith that there is a higher power and we need to thank God for what we have on this earth. I also believe that there is a heaven and we shall all be together again someday.